Drafting is an important part of riding strategy, whether it is in the peloton or in a breakaway, as it serves the very important purpose of conserving a rider's energy. Drafting can be cooperative with several competitors taking turns in the lead position. Cooperation usually comes to the fore in a breakaway when riders share a common ambition to distance themselves from the main peloton. When this happens, the drafting strategy can change depending on wind conditions, resulting in different types of paced lines, such as the double paced line, where the lead rider pulls over to the sides away from the wind, and the following rider takes a short relay facing the wind before subsequently pulling aside. This has the effect of creating a continuously rotating pace line. When the pace line encounters a crosswind, an echelon will usually form adjusting the double pace line at an angle so that the riders will naturally find cover. But an echelon is not always cooperative and at other times it can also be competitive or tactical when one or several teams decide to take advantage of some nasty crosswinds to split up the peloton and leave behind the riders just sitting on. When the direction of the race turns into the crosswinds, it only takes a few riders ready to take some hard and steady relays up at the front of the pack to ramp up the pace. After a couple of minutes, you'll see the rest of the peloton strung out single file called the gutter all the way to the back. The riders in the gutter are no longer protected against the wind and are obliged to ride very hard to haul the wheel in front. Sooner or later, someone will drop that wheel and a split in the field will occur. Very rarely will the bunch who have been dropped manage to get organized enough for a successful chase to happen. Thus, the front group can rush to the line for the stage win.